well that works too. Where'd you learn bikes? You live in this town? I better get going. Uh, let's go ahead and see where she learned bikes. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. Aww. Mm -hmm. She switched to toasters because bikes hurt too much. But yet she's working on our bikes, so that's awesome. Yeah. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. So, how's it look? And then I gotta get out of this town fast. So <laughs> how's it look? Yeah, how's, how's it, look? it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Okay, so... You could obviously tell what our first goal right now is, is, is to get our, our bike up and running. We need some new forks. We need some gas. Yeah. And we need the welding torch so she can finish the job. Where so, am I supposed to find that stuff? Uh, well, thankfully, I know how to find it. So that that's awesome. I, I get out. I got to get out of this town fast. And where am I supposed to find all this stuff? Yeah. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. <laughs> that's really helpful, right? Uh, where am I going to find new forks? Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. All right. Where, how am I supposed to find your, find your torch? How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? All right. Where's the gas? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. All right. Uh, I gotta get out of this town. Fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? My gang's in trouble. There's going to be an ambush. Someone tried to kill me. I'm after him. <laughs> uh, my gang's in trouble. My gang's in trouble. Polecats? How'd you know that? Big emblem on the back of your jacket. <laughs> They're headed for an ambush, so I gotta catch them. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? Uh, let's see. I don't have any money to pay you with. I mean, that, this is definitely a problem, right? I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Aw, that's nice of her. Okay, so... Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Okay, so with that... Uh, we do need to grab a couple of things in this, uh, in the shop, if you want to call it that. So we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and grab this hose. We will grab this gas can, because we're probably going to need that too. And I'm also going to take a look at this photograph. Who's this? Oh, that's oh, me and my Uncle Pete. Exactly. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. And by the way, what am I... F so, technically you had uh, LucasArts in-house doing tracks for this game. But you also had the Gone Jackals who were doing tracks for it as well. And this is one of the LucasArts ones, I believe, that they did. Yeah, I'm and sure. it's one of my favorite, like, s like smooth listening tracks to ever hear yeah um really love it but without further ado let's go ahead and get out of here we got we got to find a bunch of crap so let's go ahead and get started oh good you're not dead yet i might still get a quote oh good the cnn reporter's here <laughs> i heard you saved my life listen i gotta stop an ambush well i better take off i heard you saved my life yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Oh, okay. Well, good. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Ew. <laughs> Alright, listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? I don't know exactly, feeling? somewhere between here and Corville. And do you think you can give me a lift? Uh, well, I mean, 
I guess we could get. She did save our life. You yeah. Know? Maybe, maybe we could tell her. Somewhere between here and Corville, my crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Okay, this is this is one of my favorite lines of the game. So, could you give me a ride in your car? Um, I, I. Yeah. This is hard for me. I, I need. Come on, man, spit it out. Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. This does not make sense. She literally hitched us here. <laughs> we were out in the middle of nowhere. Kick. I owe her better than that. <laughs> oh, punch her. I owe her better than that. Oh, come on. Pretty small to be carrying me around. Yeah, he's asking the same question. I rolled, I rolled you. Uh, we can check out the mailbox. I don't think there's anything in there, though. Do 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 do. We'll check her mail for her. It's empty. Oh, it's it's empty. It's empty? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Kick it. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. Why not? Oh, well, we'll open it back up then. Okay, off to go and get some parts. Do 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 do. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> she had a car. Thanks for the lift. <laughs> now I got a quote for you. I'm sure you do, Ben. All right, now we're out into the town of Melonweed. As you can see, not very big. Uh, but let's go ahead and so she so Mo already told us to go talk to Todd, who runs the junkyard, and he is on the trailer just across the road from her. Even though these could technically qualify as trailers, but they're not. Oh, look at that. Huh. Wonder what's causing all that light. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and knock on the door. Who's out there? Hey! I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Nice guy, right? Yeah, you are. Okay, I'm well, a friend of Moe's. I need... Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get huh, off my we weren't even bringing up the torch. What do you oh, want? I took the torch. And I the light down here looks, looks like somebody was using a welding torch. Go blow. Gee, I wonder if that's there supposed to be some kind of a hint as to who took the welding torch. Well, biker movie and all that. Oh. Okay, well, that sucks. That didn't solve my problem at all. Aw. Well, he's back down there, so... Um, I could knock on the door again, right? Ah, we can see he's got an elevator or something like that. Yeah. You I knock for that. a reason or you just not? I did knock yeah, for a reason, door. actually. My door. And that was to knock your ass out. <laughs> I think he's had enough. I think he's had enough. He's had I don't enough. think he has been. This view defines true beauty. It in fact does. I'm not putting my lips on that. I understand. Okay, so there's a cabinet over here. Let's just go ahead and open it up. And for that, we get... Oh, that's all I wanted. Uh, Lockpick! Let's go ahead and take that. You can close that if you want, or if you don't want to, that's entirely fine, too. Uh, Todd Signs. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Indeed. And here's his refrigerator, which just so happens that he's got some meat in there. I don't know if we want to touch Todd's meat, but uh, we have no choice. And here was his elevator. And oh, look! A welding torch! I wonder how Todd got that. Well, let's go ahead and pick it up. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, little gas, and we're set. All right, there you go. So we have one of three items that we need.
And let's see, we, we could either do the fort. Well, actually, we're probably going to need to do the gas because I think we need one more thing when, we getting, when we're getting the gas for the forks. So let's go ahead and go over to the gas tower. And this is going to be the one thing that tells you that this is a futuristic society, Alex. Are you ready for that? All right. So that looks all futuristic, right? This is how futuristic they are. They still use, you know, run-of-the-mill padlocks. But that's okay, because we actually have an answer for the padlock, and that is the lockpick. So use that on the padlock. Now we can walk in. But first, we're going to go ahead and take this padlock with us. I mean, it's a good padlock. Why not take it? Yeah. Okay, so I, I guess this is just going to be as easy as one, two, three, right? Let's just go ahead and go up the ladder. Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. Uh, well, uh, let's, get up the, let's get up the ladder fast, Alex. I, I'm pretty sure this is the way to do it, right? That's about as futuristic as this gets. Is there are hover gliders, I guess, owned by the police. All right, there. I'm talking to you, boy. You are trespassing on private property. Remain still, or we will not shoot you. I thought they said they were going to shoot us. <laughs> or they lied, apparently. I get to say fire before you do that, Floyd. Sorry, boss. I got excited. <laughs> Hello, sorry, boss. I got excited. Okay, so if we touch the ladder we're going to create problems because the cops will come and try and take us out, right? So we need to find a way to be able to get the fuel but also distract the cops. Well, there's only really one way to do it, so let's go ahead and summon the cops. And instead of going or waiting here, let's get out of sight. So we'll, we'll just hide behind these weird looking penis shaped things. I love full throttle. I don't necessarily understand Hi, all the time. You? Hey, where is he? I told you I nailed him last time. Well, who set off the alarm, Floyd? Maybe somebody's just fooling with us. Oh, it's him. It's that guy you keep missing. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting, I'm going down for a closer look. You know, technically this shouldn't have worked, Alex because they could fly right over us and find us. <laughs> I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Yeah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. Well, they're sufficiently distracted, but they're up in the gas tower. So that's a problem. But, well, this thing would run on some kind of a fuel, right? So, why don't we do the real douchey thing here? And siphon the gas. And siphon the gas. So, let's go ahead and use the hose with their gas tank. And then also put out the gas can. And it's one of those old... Oh, crap. No, that's not <laughs> what I wanted. Uh, gas can. I think we just got to use it with the hose. There you go. I want to find one of these kinds of gas cans. Those are always hilarious looking to me. And, of course, you got to get the gas flowing. So, uh, don't try this at home, kids. Really don't try this at home. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get him. Uh, put Where? on the lid, Ben. Put on the lid. Oh, put on the lid, Quit. Ben. You go around the other side, and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No. Let's call on reinforcements. Ah, crap. The fuzz is onto us. <laughs> I love the music of this game. Yeah. It's so great. <laughs> Alright, so this is two. Oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. Okay, so. That's two out of the three items we need. The last thing we need are, are forks for the bike. So, at that point, since Todd is, well, out of commission, I guess we'll just go ahead and visit the junkyard and, and see if we can get some forks. I'm sure he won't mind. 
Yeah, I'm some sure somebody else will. Okay, so technically, I'm just gonna showcase this. Use the chain, obviously, to open up the the junkyard entrance. <laughs> the dude did not lock his entrance. <laughs> kind of an idiot. Well, I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll run for it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, maybe he did that for a reason. This is actually where the lock, uh, the padlock comes into play because we can lock it down. Oh my. Oh, hi, and we're, <laughs> we're getting a little bit of an invasion. Be right back. We got a visitor. <laughs> okay, we're back. Um, so we, we had a little bit of a home invasion. It's all right. Um, <laughs> had a visit from Chibi Drac. We, we did, in fact, have a visit from Chibi Drac, drinking her OJ. Okay, so now that we've locked down the door, we should be able to climb the chain, right? One would hope so. <laughs> ah, junk. And there comes our greatest nemesis of this whole task. So I'm just going to go ahead and show this. Junkyard dog. There is a junkyard dog, which hasn't been fed in quite a while. Well, that's where All we right, got some so meat. Obviously, there's some bike forks right here. So let's, let's try and get them. Oh, jeez. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll admit, it's one of my favorite bad tastes. <laughs> Down. In fact, one of these days I will capture this, this very image, and every time we curse on camera or go on a major rant, it's just going to be Ben on the screen. <laughs> just like, uh, I never expected that from you. Okay, so now that you've kind of seen the problem that that can occur. Well, we got to solve the, the dog problem and mm. there's really only one way to be able to solve it, yeah, right? The meat. We got some meat, probably what Todd intended for, uh, for the meat to be for, uh, I don't know. He's pretty fat. So maybe he intended it for himself. Let's just go ahead and put this meat. Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. Yeah. Oh, did you not use it? Okay. No, I guess you got him. Oh, that's right. We have to go. We actually have to go over here, I think. It's, it's not this car that we need to put it into. We need to give ourselves a little bit of leeway. So this is where the dog really spends a lot of his time. Ugh. My apologies. We cannot put it in the red car. Down. Bad dog. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that dog is pretty friggin' pudgy. <laughs> well, yeah, a lot of pit bulls are. I don't even think it's supposed to be a pit bull, is it? I don't know. It's definitely not a Rottweiler. I I, I remember as a kid calling it a future dog, because I was just like, I don't know what type of dog that is. But yeah, it's supposed to be like a Rottweiler or something well, it's like that. Got, it's kind of, it's more like the build of a pit. But. Okay, so let's put it Here, in this Poochie card. Pooch. Pooch. All right, so this meat will now attract the dog. Bon appetit, mud. All right, and... <laughs> Any way to activate that magnet? Yeah, we just got to get to it. Ah, there we go. So use this up arrow, and this will take us up to the magnet tower. Yay! Lights on! Okay, so now what we can do is... Oh, uh, this. There we go. Okay. Hit the button! It's all nice and wrecked. Oh, actually, we need to raise it up again. Okay, so just putting it in, uh, putting the magnet on is not enough. The dog will jump down uh -huh. and go back. So what you have to do in this case, actually, I, ooh, you know what? I might actually have to do a little bit of iron. Okay, or so grab it again. 
Or can you put another car on top of it? Uh, that's what I was actually going to do. So, move it back down. And then, we basically have to make it so the dog can't jump down. Well, you can't stack them three high. You couldn't, like, take Well, what car. I got to do is grab another car first. So, at that point, we have to stack them three high, but we have to put another car in there first. Well, you had one on the... How did, why did you do that when you had it on the other car? Because you can't sandwich them. For some reason, even though that's what I used to do in this game, for some reason in the remastered version, it won't let you do that anymore.